guys, Cecil here once again. Hey, I wanted to do a quick video today and talk to you guys about some interesting news I read regarding the Nintendo Switch version of NBA 2K18. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, um, 2K18 was formally announced in January to be coming to the Nintendo Switch uh, during their uh, January press conference announcing all the formal details. So this is a game we've known for a while that's, been, that's going to be coming to the Switch, which is, which is very good in regards to Nintendo's third-party support. But we really didn't know much about any of the uh, extra special editions or features the game was going to have. Now, for those of you who may be unaware of um, how NBA 2K has kind of operated in the last handful of years, um, this is going to be the first version of an NBA game on a Nintendo console since NBA 2K13 on the Wii U, so it's been about five years. But what's generally been happening is 2K has been releasing kind of limited editions in the last few years of the games that have some extra in-game currency, little stickers, cards... Uh, the game has microtransactions as in the form of in-game currency that allows you to uh, purchase stuff for the career mode in the game. Um, last year's game in 2K17 was, and it was Kobe Bryant themed. This year's Hall of Fame editions of the game are, um, are Shaquille O'Neal themed. But what's really good about what they announced today, they formally announced the limited ed Hall of Fame editions of NBA 2K18, was the fact that the Switch is also getting the full kind of special editions that both the PS4 and Xbox One are accustomed to. Um, and why that is really awesome is generally in the past, even when Nintendo systems have gotten third-party support, if they've gotten a version of the game, it's generally been very gimped, maybe only had the single-player campaign, didn't have any of the DLC, didn't have an online multiplayer mode, um, you know, especially on the Wii U. Um, that was always a, a big problem, if it even ever got the game. And the fact that NBA 2K18, uh, that 2K and Take-Two are actually releasing the full special editions of the uh, NBA 2K18 on the Switch, as well as the PS4 and Xbox One, at least to me, means at least they specifically are taking the Switch very seriously. This isn't just kind of another Nintendo console that, oh, we're just going to give them a GIMP version of the game and they'll be happy with it. Um, and to me, this bodes really well going forward. And I'm really, really hoping that this is kind of going to begin to open the floodgates of better third-party support on the Switch going forward, especially with E3 coming up. I'm hoping there's going to be some more announcements. Um, generally, a lot of the time, companies will announce a game, but they haven't always specifically announced a Nintendo version. And uh, just to give you guys a bit of an example on that, I remember back in September of 2012, right before the Wii U came out, Nintendo had a press conference to announce formal pricing on the uh, Wii U, and as well as announce some more games like Bayonetta 2, but they specifically announced Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for the Wii U and Batman Arkham City Armored Edition for the Wii U, which for, for launch at least were two really good third-party games the Wii U had upon launch. Um, and those were games that had already been announced before or had already been out on other consoles, but the fact that Nintendo kind of saved some big third-party announcements for their own conference uh, kind of, to me, says that, hey, we may have some third-party announcements to show at E3. Um, we're just going to kind of keep it under wraps until then, so we, it's more content and to unveil and talk about. Now, they may not have a lot of third-party support uh, either to show. That's, that's a very strong possibility. Um, and I'm not really going to be here to debate the merits of uh, the 2K18 uh, Hall of Fame editions that they're announcing, because the um, the special edition of uh, the standard special edition is a hundred dollars, and the uh, big edition, the gold edition, is 150. And I think for a lot of people, that's going to be a lot of money. So I'm not going to really, like I said, sit here and debate if these are actually worth getting versus the standard $60 game, because PS3 and 360 are getting a version of 2K18 as well, but they're only getting um, the standard copy of the game. They're not getting the, these limited Hall of Fame editions like the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch are getting. I just wanted to kind of point out the fact that, to me, at least with this specific game, that at least some... Western publishers are actually beginning to take the Switch more seriously and why it might be worth their time to come out with special editions or give 
uh, the Switch full versions of their AAA games, even if it's just a yearly sports game. I just wanted to, kind of, like I said, give my two cents on this and why I think this is really something uh, awesome to talk about and share my thoughts and feelings on it and why hopefully going forward that this is going to bode well for Nintendo's uh, third-party support on the Switch. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Or do you really not care? I know a lot of people probably don't even give two shits about NBA 2K18. I know I've kind of talked about other sports games on the channel in the past, but I, I, I just figured this was uh, really worth sharing. Um, do, you, do you care if this is uh, something important? Do you think this bodes well for Nintendo's uh, third-party support going forward? I'll leave a link to the uh, Nintendo Life article I was reading about this so you can read more details upon it. Just let me know what you uh, guys think about this in the comments down below. Otherwise, like always, guys, you take it easy, and I'll see you next time.